going on everyone? It's Rich Locks and in today's video, girl, oh honey, you won't believe today's drama. So, so many freaking people are saying that Maddie Emmyweus, metacoccolitis, copper eyelid, new lip girl, she freaking's at it again. They're saying that Maddie Emmyway threw freaking shade at Tati. So people are like, girl, did you see that? Manny Amy Way's promoting and popping these gummy hair vitamin pills, but he ain't do Tati review. He ain't supporting Tati. And all that. You know how it is? Oh, and she dyed her hair gray. Girl, are you serious? This is what my life has come to, talking about Manny Amy Way dyed his hair gray. Girl, she dyed her hair gray. Roll the clip, girl. Hear all the drama. This is such a look, dude. It really is. You can what the fuck? Like for a shoot or something? Okay, y'all guess who got a sponsorship with Miss Sugar Bear Hair? I did! And I'm so excited because these are the best tasting hair vitamins I have ever had in my entire life. They're incredible. These are made for men and for women, and they are gelatin-free, vegetarian, and help it make your hair grow longer and fuller. Mmm, and they taste so good. I don't think you'll understand how much I enjoy these, but how good they actually are. It's like the craziest thing. I take two a day. That's the recommended dosage. It has biotin in it, vitamin B12, other hair-growing ingredients. Lastly, these bad boys are made in the U.S. They are wheat, soy, and dairy-free. I need my two right now. <laughs> and you are, I already know, every time I do these videos, you're going to be that one person, that, that one girl who lives in rural Alabama, right in the middle, girl, right in the sticks, okay? And she's in her little trailer home, and she's like, Well, Red Lips, how dare you talk about Manny M.U.A. He pays my bills. Girl, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and also, it's always going to be the other comment. Well, I am highly offended, Rich Lux. I actually do live in middle Alabama in the sticks, and I do not act like that. Girl, it's a joke. If you can't take it, hit that thumbs down button and go watch a damn nigga tutorial video or something, okay? Bye. So anyways, how do you think Tati feels, girl? Do you think she feels betrayed? Do you think she even cares, girl? In my opinion, Tati Westbrook has sold a lot of pills, so she's not bothered, girl. Okay, she, I think she made like a million dollars. Rumors are she made a million dollars, girl, already. Good for her. Let her some match. But I feel like, girl... Cause okay, well first of all, correction, the point dexters, well with me. Girl, correction. Manny Mue, I think that was a sponsor that he said, I'm so happy I got sponsored to talk about blah blah. I think so. I I could be wrong, girl. But um, you know, Tati's not uh sponsoring people or whatever. She just, you know, you wanna buy it, buy it. <gasps> but you know what? This is there's some other drama, girl. Uh Bobby Brown, the makeup artist lady girl. She's coming out with pills too. Okay? And if y'all gonna give Tati a hard time about it, then y'all need to uh, go and give Bobby Brown and break that down and see what's up with that tea, girl. Okay? Because I looked at some of the ingredients, girl, along with other people in the pill popping community. Okay? A YouTube pill popping community. We're looking at the ingredients of the Bobby Brown pills, and a lot of people do not like it, girl. So I'm excited. I think I'm gonna buy those pills and like show them to you on camera. I think that'll be like a good video to do, girl. I don't know, but we'll see how that goes, okay? What else I wanna talk about? Oh, so, okay, I'm freaking shook right now. Okay, there is this YouTuber, girl. I don't even know her name, <laughs> girl. I don't even know her name. But there's this YouTuber, she goes by, oh, HRH Collection, okay. Well, she made this video that has people are kind of offended by it, but like her core audience like loves it so much, but there's like another audience that just like don't like it, right? Well, girl, what happened was she made a video called like dressing up like a Chinese billionaire rich girl. Okay, well, this HR is a white girl. She's a little Caucasian woman. So, so many people were like offended by it. I've, I've been watching her. Like, I've watched her channel several times. 
she's obsessed with the Asian community. Okay, like she shops Korean markets. She, she, you know, I think she used to live over there, girl in Asia, or whatever. She's obsessed with it. If you watch her channel long enough, she's like in, embodies Asian culture, girl. She lives as a white woman, but she loves little like Asian stuff. Okay, but there's a part of her where she's obsessed with the rich Asian girl. Okay, and I think she says Japanese, oh, Chinese, specifically Chinese rich Asian girls. Okay, and she said in her mind, in her mind, she's convinced, girl, that rich Asian girls do this, eat this, wear this, act like this. And I'm sitting there watching the video, I'm like, girl, oh, and then she says, well, I don't know any. I don't know any, you know, but, but if I did, they rich Asian Chinese girls would wear bright colored bags, yellow, pink, purple, red bags, because they they would already own the brown, black ones, girl. So they want the rare, exclusive bags. And then she showed photos, but then she was like, "Well, this girl is not Chinese. She's more like Vietnamese." And I'm just like, "Girl, does it even matter? Girl, you're already in sticky waters. You're gonna do not make it any worse, girl." But the way she said it, well, this girl, she's not Chinese. She's more like, and then she says like another Asian race. And I'm like, but she said this, she, she said this so condescending where I kind of got offended, girl. And I don't really get offended by a lot of stuff, but I was like, girl, what, what? stop, please just stop, girl. But she kept going. So then she says that these rich Asian Chinese girls are very cliquish and they speak English fluently and their native tongue. But she says when, when they're out and about and people talk to them, they don't speak English back to them. They speak their native tongue. They're just like not bothered. And they're basically, in her head she says that these rich Asian Chinese girls are so in their bubble that they don't care about anything else. Okay, they're just, they're just not bothered, girl. And all they do is they hang out with their friends and shop and they go to school in New York or LA because they don't even live in their home. They don't even live in Chinese areas, girl. Okay, and I'm just like, this, you know all this, but you never met one. And then she did this other video where she says, oh, I was at Louis Vuitton shopping and I just saw this rich Asian girl and you know she's like a rich Asian girl. And I could tell because what she was wearing and she was so beautiful and she had her boyfriend with her and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, girl, you're, you're assuming. Everything you're talking about, you're assuming, girl. If, if that's the case, if that's the case, let me let me assume, let me assume. So I am so in love with like rich Asian girls and in order for you to be a rich, a, a rich Asian Chinese girl, you have to only wear black leggings and Fendi shoes and Louis Vuitton skirts and a Burberry scarf and a Fendi jacket. And you always will have a Louis Vuitton bag and you only date black guys. That's like the image of the rich Chinese girl. There, that's mine. Since, since she can just pull out of her ass, girl, whatever her, literally, she just, out of her head, she just pulled it out. But what, because so, you know they're going to be pointing that, she's, well, with legs. Girl, what if her video was instructions on how to be a rich black girl? Would, would have the Kirkamuntity took it any differently, girl? Would they, would they would have been offended? That's what I'm trying to say that. Cause it just, it shouldn't have been a video that should have been made, girl. I'm just saying, it was just bust at the house, girl. Okay, and then she dresses up, girl. She goes, I'm gonna show you what they wear. So she dresses up like them. And she has the most busted ass little clothes, girl. And she's trying so hard to fit in in a little Chinese community, girl. But ain't no one bother, girl, okay? And so she's sitting there and, and then her little thumbnail with her leg up, girl. It's just like, stop. I liked you a lot more. And, and then you want to know some real tea, girl? Okay, so she got like 100,000 views, 80,000 views or something like that on some, some of her videos, but she only be getting like 200 comments. Like how in the hell are that many people going to watch your video? Y your community, like, but nobody's going to comment. So either you're just really boring or you're buying subscribers, my opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly. Like, what's going on? Because it doesn't make any sense for you to get that many views and nobody's engaging in the comment section. Like, it, do they just like 
You know what I think it is? I think people just like hit play and walk off and like go clean or cook or something or work out. And then they're just like, okay, next. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like shook girl, okay? And she has like these weird titles. Like, I don't know. I don't want to go any further because I don't want to, I don't want to seem like I'm coming for the girl because that's not what I'm trying to do here. I just find that the video title, what I want to say, if, if, because I, I, I know you're just ready, girl. What I want to say is, I just find the video to be offensive to some people and I don't think it was a good video to make. Um, I know that you love the community, the rich Asian girl community, but I think you got it all wrong. And for you to say what you said in the video and you don't even know one, for you, and it just doesn't make any sense. Like you're just, you're just inventing stuff out of you. This is like out of your imagination, but maybe, because there's a lesson to be learned, maybe that's a reflection of how she feels or wants herself to come across. You know, maybe she wants to feel like a rich Asian Chinese girl and those are the things they do. Because I guarantee you, if you're a rich Asian Chinese girl, you don't just automatically born into a little clique of friends and you don't talk to nobody else but that little clique of friends. No, girl, there's a little drama and gossiping and you got weeded out and one of them might do this and do that. Like, you just don't know the tea, girl, okay? Because it, it's not like that for every rich Asian Chinese girl, so just stop. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I think it is. But anyways, guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, since you're haters, so when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. Don't forget, I do have merchandise down below and music on iTunes, and I will be, girl, I will be at RuPaul's DragCon LA in May. I think it's like May 11, 12, and 13. I'll be there. So if you're there, I also have a booth too, girl. Yes, ma'am, I got a booth. I found me a RuPaul's Drag Race girl, and uh, she, I was like, hey, do you want to go have on a booth? And she's like, yeah, sure. So we got a booth, girl. So uh, I kind of give you guys the booth number. But yeah. And I believe the body swats will be there too. So yeah. All right, guys. Bye. I love you so much. I feel like I got goop, girl. I got goop now, girl. No, girl. No, girl.